Hi everyone, today I will show you one of the most powerful and strongest meta ship builds in Skull and Bones, with which you will definitely become the ruler of the Seven Seas and conquer the Indian Ocean. So let's talk about this build. At first we will need a ship called Brigantine, and it's the best ship in the game because it's the fastest ship in the game currently, and also this ship uh, has a wonderful exotic perk. Um, let me show you now this perk. And with just ramming your enemies, with just hitting your enemies with the nose of your ship, you will just do crazy amounts of damage with the perk called Bullhorn. And you just need to ram your enemies here, yes, so just hit them with the nose, with the head of your ship, and you will just one-shot small, small ships, small enemy ships, and even you will do crazy amount of damage to some even higher tier enemies. So, but first we need a uh, brigantine ship, and after that, what will we use? We will use several uh, weapons and armor, but before we start, let's talk about gear score for just a second, because in this game we have gear score, it's our current total level of our armor, furniture and weapons, and our ship level, and it's um, if you are a Destiny player, it's the same thing like like light in Destiny, or item level, item level in uh, World of Warcraft, or gear score in other Ubisoft games. So it's a total amount of all your gear, total um, total score of all your gear. And it's not working like in Destiny, for example, if you are playing high tier activities in Destiny 2 uh, and you don't have enough um, light gear score in Destiny, you will just have penalty to your uh, weapon damage outputs and to your uh, damage reduction. So enemies can, can just uh, simply one-shot you in high tier activities in Destiny 2. It's not working in Ubisoft games and it's not working the same way in Skull and Bones, so you can just you just need to reach level 10 of gear score and even 11 you can even reach level 11 uh, gear score 11 and after that it really simply doesn't matter so do not chase do not do not do not have a pursuit for higher gear score because it simply doesn't matter just use whatever you want whatever guns and armor you want because your build matters but not your guild not your gear score so about weapons what are we using? We are using, on, on the head of our ship, we are using Dardanelle's gun. It's endgame PvP gun you will get from endgame PvP activity. And mm, you may have some, you may you may spend some time grinding this gun. And if you don't want to go into endgame, into PvP uh, endgame, you can just change this gun into 2222. Let me show you where it was. It's file on gun tier 3. It's also a wonderful gun, and when Dardanelle's gun working like grenade launcher in other games, in shooter games, you just um, shooting with quite big a AOE blast. A file on gun working like sniper rifle, you just shooting very precise with very precise one dot with two bullets, and you are doing also really nice amount of damage. If you are good at sniping, choose file on gun tier three. You can also buy it for endgame activity, but it's much easier to buy. You need much less time involvement to get file on gun tree, and it can even drop from some PvP activities like Cutthroat Cargo Hunt. Very seldom it can drop, but still you can get it from uh, even Cutthroat Cargo Hunt. So we are using file on gun tree um, like uh, as our backside uh, weapon or stern weapon. We are using the same weapon on our bow part of the ship or our head part of the ship if you don't have Dardanelle's gun, but if you have an opportunity to buy Dardanelle's gun, it will be the best variant in the game. And at our port and starboard, so our bottom, um, on our left side and right side of our ship, we are using Zamzama 3. And why we are using Zamzama 3? Let me show you its perks. It's a uh, demi cannon, and with this demi cannon, we are uh, dealing a great amount of damage. And why Zamzama, why Zamzama Power Tier 3? Because with this gun, we're increasing our charge rate of our vulnerable effect by 500%. 
and about our uh, additional burning, we also dealing additional 20% damage as burning damage. So it's fire weapon that dealing burning damage, increasing our charge rate of our vulnerable effect by additional 500%. It's a really strong weapon that dealing crazy amounts of damage, a lot of damage. So we definitely need this uh, weapon, and it's working on just simple cannonballs that are much that are the most cheap, uh, the most cheap, the, the cheapest ammunition in the game to craft. Uh, remember, do not buy ammunition and repair kits. Only buy them because or only craft them because buying ammunition and repair kits you just spending so much money it's a crazy amount of money because you can simply just craft it for free you have enough um, materials to craft it all the time it's much much cheaper and easier so only craft so it's the cheapest ammunition uh, even to buy cannonballs it's the easiest is the easiest uh, ammunition to buy to get to craft so we're using Zam Zamzama tier 3 on our left side and on our right side. And as our heavy weapon, we're using the Termites uh, tier 3. You will get tier 1 from Tilok Panjara uh, storyline. And after that, you can buy or also you can find in some PvP activities like Astrobot Cargo Hunt uh, this rocket, uh, rocket launcher and it's extremely powerful. It's uh, dealing increased damage to structures and different um, different manufacturing towers. And it's also, uh, in addition, it's dealing 10% of damage as burning damage. And also, in addition, it's dealing 10% of damage as piercing damage and increasing damage to weak points by high fi uh, by uh, 50%. So it's one of the most powerful heavy gun, heavy weapons in the game. And you may ask why I'm not using another weapon from Season 1. And let me show you this weapon, because a lot of players currently are using La Peste uh, weapon, uh, toxic weapon. And I will uh, give you a little comments on this topic. Why not this? Because uh, our La Peste gun... Let me show you where it is. It is here. Yeah, Le Fleur. We're not using Le Fleur because uh, this gun... Mm, yes, it's it's dealing AOE uh, damage, but this AOE uh, zone that's dealing uh, toxic damage, it's static. So players will just simply get out of this zone it's really easy to get out and do not and to not die from the zone yes it's dealing a lot of damage it's doing uh 12,300 damage in total with expo additional explosive damage uh, almost 2,000 explosive damage but it's really easy to avoid from just sailing away, especially if you're using uh, food and uh, drinks, because water is essential thing you need to use on every build, on any build, on any level in Skull and Bones, because it's increasing your speed, your speed for 60 for 60 seconds, for one minute. So, especially if you are using water and different buffs for speed, it's like it's like, like, like food. It's really easy to avoid. So, definitely, don't, we, we are not using Le Fleur, uh, just simply because it's really easy to avoid. And even in PC, uh, PV, PV enemies really easy avoid this uh, mortar. So, we are using, we are using our Dardanelle gun. Uh, or long gun uh, tier 3, fire, fire long gun tier 3 to do uh, precision one shot a lot of damage to any enemy ship and let's get to back to our ship and about our armor, what we are using we are using in armor slot we are using black prints it's also endgame armor you are getting from endgame activity, uh, playing PvP mainly, and it reduces our damage taken by f by 50% when health is less than 33%. So it's simply giving you a very great damage reduction when your health is low. And again, if you can't buy it, if you don't have enough, if you don't want to play either PvP or endgame activity, uh, also mainly PvP based, you can just simply uh, gets this armor, Royal Custodian armor. It's 
a little bit less uh, powerful, it less potent, little bit less potent than uh, Black Prince, but still it's a very strong um, armor that applies the fortified effect for 12 seconds after using a repair kit, which increases armor by, city, by, by 35%. It's a wonderful armor, and where you can get this, let me show you. Uh, sometimes you can find in this place where I'm showing you currently right now, where uh, near where near the coast of Africa, and there in these points what that I'm that I'm showing you, sometimes you can find um, you can find caravan. Uh, DMC Caravan or Royal Company Caravan and this Caravan will just carry this uh, little piece so just use your spy eye to to scan enemy ships and when you see here in this point when I can when you see Caravan trade Caravan just destroy it and get your get your armor it's just simple and if you can't find this caravan, you are not lucky. Or you you are not play. You, you are playing, for example, 30 minutes, 30 minutes a day, so you don't have enough time to wait for uh, this caravan. There is another very nice, very decent alternative for uh, Royal Custodian and Black Prince. You can also use uh, you can also use this armor, also very strong, also with a really decent stats. Uh, it's also really nice. Kabaka uh, tier 2, really nice, really strong armor. And now about our furniture. Furniture is essential in this game because it's, it's giving you uh, really strong bonuses like jewelry in Remnant 2, if you've played Remnant 2. It's one of the most important parts of your ship. So what we are using, let's talk about slots 2. Uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and after this we'll come back to tier 1. Uh, tier 2, we are using, in, we're increasing max hull health by 5%. It's, incre it's additional uh, health, additional uh, survivability. Quite obvious why, I using this, why we are we're using this. <clears throat> Uh, in slot 3, we're increasing our cargo capacity by 10% because we will always uh, stack from, we will always suck from our um, from uh, capacity of our cargo because if you are, for example, playing in game, if you are taking all the all the pieces of 8 you are getting from your bases, if you are visiting a lot of bases to get all the pieces of 8, you will definitely need more cargo capacity because you will lose a lot. You will lose a lot of things, and you will definitely need increased uh, cargo capacity, and it's it will help you a lot in a lot of situations. If you think that your cargo capacity is quite enough for your build, you can just change to anything. Um, that's increasing your that's increasing damage of your ammunition uh, or damage from, uh, for example, demi cannons or uh, other weapons you are using. For example, in our build, we are using uh, we are using demi cannons and we are using uh, rockets. A launcher so you can for example use rocket green rocket green uh, tier one uh, to increase our projectile speed of rocket by 15 percent so you can use anything that buffing uh, that buffing our uh, weapons uh, in tier, in slot three but I definitely recommend it to you to use storage storage compartment tier one uh, because it's simply one of the most useful things that's really helped me a lot 10 percent of our cargo it's something like um, several thousand of uh, several thousands of cargo so it really helps me to get more stuff and to get more gold so this uh, in slot 4 I'm using front powder X tier 1 it's increasing our front weapon damage by 10% because uh, we are using Dardanelle's gun and it's dealing a lot of AOE damage it's increasing our AOE damage so we can just take several ships in one shot uh, especially if several ships are assaulting us and tier 5 I'm using maintained arsenal tier 1 that's increasing our damage from auxiliary weapons by 10% because uh, we're using we're using our rotation. I will show you rotation a little bit later. We're just using all the guns all the time. We're just swapping from one one weapon to another and um, just rotating our uh, ship and uh, moving our ship from one weapon to another to deal in the the biggest damage we can do. So it's increasing damage of our auxiliary weapons and our front damage to do the highest DPS possible to just melt our enemies. 
and about slots, about first furniture slots, I'm using increased damage by 15% after crew attack for 30 seconds. Why I'm using this? Because if you are playing, if you are, if you are fighting with low tier enemies, it's not a problem at all to kill these enemies with just a single attack, for example, with two attacks from your Dardanelle gun or with just ramming them. You will just destroy enemy ships tier 2 or tier 3, gear score 3 or gear score 2, with just single ramming, with just hitting them with your nose, with the head of your ship. So you definitely do not want anything else. But if you are playing uh, higher tier enemies, they are mostly fortified. And fortified enemies are the enemies with a health bar, fortified uh, tough health bar. And on that enemies you can use your crew attack. And you will use this crew attack quite often, especially if you are using all the weapons on your ship. And with just single crew attack, after every single crew attack, you increase for 30 seconds all your damage by 15%. It's a great amount of damage, it's a great increase in uh, damage and because of, for example, such bosses like La Peste, uh, you are using, they, they are really tough, they um, have a lot of health, like I'm showing right now, fighting with La Peste. You can see his health bar, his fortified enemy, and fighting such enemies, you will have a lot of opportunities to use your crew attack, and after every crew attack, you just simply increasing your damage, and you are strongly increasing your damage for 15% for 30 seconds after every single crew attack. And now you can see also, like I already told you, um, uh, we are using our uh, head of our ship to ram enemies, and ramming enemies, you are just doing a lot of damage, and every your uh, weapon doing a lot of damage. Now we are using our Zamzama tier 3 weapons. I'm showing you right now. So it's a very strong build. We're just rotating our uh, our weapons all over and over and over and over. We're just moving our ship from one side to another to use all the weapons. We're starting with our Dardanelles gun. We're using our uh, Zamzama tier 3 um, demi cannons. And now you can see I'm using my crew attack. And after that, now I, I'm using it. And after that, for 30 seconds, all my damage is increased by 15% and now we're doing even more damage and especially now you can use your rocket launcher now I'm using it you can see and we're doing some crazy amount of damage with our rocket launcher and it's really easy to use you just hit one target you just aim at one target and your rocket launcher will just shoot a bunch of rockets like Galahorn from Destiny 2 uh, and doing crazy amounts of damage a lot of ships will just die from one rotation uh, shooting with Dardanelles gun um, using your uh, Zamzama 3 from one side of your ship and after that finishing with uh, your rocket launcher so it's really easy build to play it's one of the easiest builds to play and also if you don't want to increase your damage if you think your damage is enough, and especially if you are playing PvP activity like Cutthroat of Cargo Hunt, I still recommend you using Signal, signal Gong uh, for more damage from crew attack. Uh, but if you think that your damage is in, your DPS is high enough, you can just swap to Water Tank that reduces crew stamina depletion by 500% while bracing, and also increasing, increasing stamina recovery by 20%. Uh, but I recommend you just using food. Just use any food that's increasing your stamina recovery and just use water to increase your speed. And with water and food, you can simply buy at any merchant, almost any merchant in the game selling food and water. And it's really cheap. And also you can craft, uh, uh, you can craft uh, food. It increases your uh, stamina I see no use for water tank, but it can be useful if you want, you can use this, but I really recommend increasing your damage because you already have everything you need. Just buy food, just buy water, uh, drinking water, put everything I'm showing you right now, and you don't have any problems uh, with uh, stamina or stamina reg regeneration. And also you can you can use region, uh, region station, it recovers 1% hull health per second when hull health is less than 20%, but it's also 
recover it's also recovering your health till 20 percent of your ship so it can be useful when you are low health but if you're playing high tier enemies they will they will just finish you if you are not using your repair kit so it's not of a great use in high tier pvp and in an end game pv in game like for example la test world boss world's events so i definitely suggest you using a uh, uh, signal gong for being for increasing your damage as far as possible and here it is here is our uh, there, are, there is our weapons our armor our furniture it's pretty everything i already told you you are just using all your weapons you are just moving your ship from one side to another doing all the damage uh, doing your crew attack your ship ultimate and after that you are using your rockets and with just single rotation let me show you this rotation uh, to be uh, more persistent for you to understand how it's working <clears throat> we are just using all our guns we are just uh, moving our ship, uh, turning our ship from one side to another and dealing literally crazy amount of damage with a great survivability from our uh, Black Prince armor and with all other stuff that we are using, with our furnishing uh, stuff that we are using. It's a really powerful and potent build and you definitely do not want anything else because if you want to shoot like uh, sniper rifle, you are using your long gun uh, in front of your ship or at the back of your ship. If you want to shoot um, other stuff you are using, uh, if, if you want to do more damage you are using your grenade launcher. And here it is, it's pretty everything. So we are using our Zamzama, we are using our um, rocket launcher and we are just simply melting everything. Everything and we have no complete problem with melting even high tier enemies and even world bosses. We'll come back to La Pest a little bit later, just a few seconds, a few seconds later. We'll show you a few uh, a full uh, boss fight with La Pest. And yeah, it's pretty everything. It's simple to play, it's not difficult to collect all the stuff from this build, and it's really easy to fight just. You know, you're just using one side weapons, uh, front weapons, uh, second side weapons. After that, you're using your rocket uh, launcher, you're using your crew attack when it's ready. When someone is chasing you, you're using your long gun at the back of your ship. And yeah, here it is. Also, you can use at the back of your ship, you can also use Dardanelle's gun, but uh, if we're talking about uh, back of your ship, yes, you can use to increase your gear score Dardanelle's gun, uh, not only uh, at ship's head, but also at ship's uh, backside, but uh, why do you need to increase your gear score? Just sacrificing your, um, your additional really accurate and really a strong gun i see no reason for that because gear score is gear score doesn't matter when you are reaching gear score 11 it just simply it just simply a number at least season 11 so just use the weapon you want and uh, long gun file on gun tier 3 it's much much easier because you can see i just have this zoom uh, it's it's high zoom uh, weapons dealing a lot of damage and it's hitting crit point uh, it's really easy to hit crit point with this weapon so yeah, finally we found, uh, finally we found a ship, a high tier ship. So let me show you how we are working. We are using our Dirtless gun, we are using our rocket launcher, we are ramming our enemy, we are using Zamzama to additional uh, debuff our enemy to deal a lot of damage. Yeah, here it is. 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 And now we increased our damage for 30 seconds for 15%. And now you can see we're doing we're doing increased damage with all our guns and all our stuff. So it's pretty everything. You can see we just melt an enemy. In high tier enemy, it's Lapest uh, La Lapest uh, crew. And so uh, yeah, it's pretty everything. Pretty easy to play. Pretty fun to play. A lot of damage. A lot of survivability. You can use pretty, pretty anything uh, in terms of food. Just you j just choose any food that's increasing your stamina regeneration because you will definitely need stamina to to recharge your stamina much faster. Your food. So you see, we almost destroyed the ship, and yeah, ship is destroyed. We just firing all the cannons all the time. And it's really easy to use. 
as a food, I'm using, I'm using, I'm using, I'm using, I'm using currently a uh, very B Minaka that reduces brain stamina consumption and restores your pay acute efficiency and restores stamina regen by 60%. You can simply either grab this food or uh, buy this food. It's not, uh, it's not very expensive. You can even buy it if you want, but you can easily just grab it. Uh, it's really nice food, it really helps you a lot, and I'm using just drinking water to increase my speed when I'm, for example, carrying my legendary treasure map, it's really helping me to uh, carry my treasure map. So, it's pretty everything now, let's look at uh, La Peste. Uh, full fight, you can see how easy we are destroying, it's not the easiest boss in, in this game, but still we, how we are killing this boss, and you can see how this build working in endgame, and you will see how potent it is, and how powerful it is. Let me show you guys.
Privacy Guys how this build works and for more content like this hit the like, bar, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more guides, builds, uh, other new, recent new, recent intelligent news on different games, RPG games, action games, action, action RPG games and some MMORPG games and we'll see you in the next video. Good luck!